Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Modifix. My name's Dan and today we are fixing. Okay, so for all you 1ZZ owners around the world, particularly with the MR2, you'll be aware of oil burning engines. My car burns probably half a litre every thousand miles. These 1ZZ engines are known for burning oil and mine does it and it's become ever more apparent since I reconfigured the exhaust system. So normally you'd probably have two or three silencers, a cat, etc, etc. So that might absorb some of that oil and it might smoke a little bit less. But mine, now that I've got one muffler just coming straight out of the turbo, you would have seen in my previous videos puffs of smoke coming out as I rev the engine. The cause of the issue is supposed to be gummed up oil control rings on the pistons. Carbon buildup due to poor servicing, previous to my ownership of course, <laughs> would cause that. So the oil control rings get gummed up, stop working, and then oil sneaks its way past the pistons into the combustion chamber and burns basically. Um, so it's not very good for the engine and I want to try and sort it out but without taking the engine apart. So without further ado let's give it a go. Liquid Molly is the best that I could find engine flush and it says hold on I'll read it to you excuse the mess in my garage uh, it says engine flush removes deposits residues and gums from all four stroke petrol and diesel engines resins and asphalts which age metal surfaces, thicken oil and create sludge on engine parts are flushed away. Thoroughly cleans piston rings, grooves and upper cylinder area, which is exactly what I need. Prevents corrosion of unprotected metal surfaces through acid combustion and condensation. Removes carbons and lacquers, which reduce the sealing effect of the piston rings. Restores full engine performance through VVT, Vanos and other oil actuated switches and valves. Not suitable for use on motorbikes with wet clutches. Application, add contents to engine oil before flush. Let engine run on idle for 10 minutes, drain oil, change oil filter and refill with fresh high quality oil. Content sufficient for five litre sump, capacity fully compatible with commercial available engine oils. So guys, as you probably know, I've just freshly changed the sump on this car and put an oil drain in it. And you know, the car didn't have any oil in it for about a week, probably three weeks actually. So the oil in it at the moment is very clean. Let me just show you. That's my new dipstick relocation bracket there. But look here, look at the oil. Let me just pull it all the way out. If you see that oil, these dipsticks aren't the best, I'll be honest, but as you can see, it looks pretty clean, doesn't it? There's no blackness or brownness of the oil. Let's put the flush in there, run it up for 10 minutes and see how we get on. That's the Liqui Marley going in right now. Love the name of it, Liqui Marley. Put that in, I'm just gonna put the whole can in and then let it idle for 10 minutes. Okay, so that's all gone in. Just gonna let that idle now for 10 minutes. As you can hear, the exhaust is a lot quieter now than it was, We're adding the baffles. And uh, I think it looks amazing. <laughs> I've got some plans on covering some of that stuff and I've gotta add some heat shields and stuff as well, but it looks very nice, I think. All right, as you can see, we're four minutes and 53 seconds over the 10 minutes. I'm gonna actually give it 20 minutes for good measure. All right, guys, 20 minutes is up. It's time to dump the oil and see how bad it is. It smells weird. It smells a little bit like paraffin at the exhaust. So um, let's see, let's dump it. The oil is draining out and as you can probably see, it doesn't look too bad, it is dark. It's bloody splashing my face right now. <laughs> Nice windy weather, should help the tyres that should, a bit of tyre shine on the tyres. As you can see it's quite golden still, but it doesn't look brand new does it? So it's done something. So I've just put a new oil filter on the car and I spilt this bit of oil straight out of the oil filter and this is brand new oil, same grade, same everything. I was going to take some out of the oil pan there, the drain pan or whatever you want to call it. 
but that had a little bit of dirt in it already so I didn't want to do a comparison with contaminated oil so I just poured that little bit there out of the filter and as you can see it has got black in it so the liquid Marley has done something in the engine hopefully it's taken some deposits out I'm just going to scoop a little bit out out of that little drain pan bloody hell that's a lot blacker than I expected I mean there were some contaminants a little bit of black oil at the bottom of that drain pan but not enough to make it black like that when it was pouring it actually looked if you look on the side there it looked like light brown but bloody hell that's cleaned it out well isn't it so uh, let's see if it makes a difference I'll fill it back up now I'll put a new oil filter in fill it all back up and give it a rev and see if it smokes and then if it does I have another idea up my sleeve all right guys look at that nice and clean yeah I emptied about two thirds of a can of brake cleaner in that and gave it a good old wipe out and it's properly clean now so what I'm going to do I'm going to fill the car up with fresh oil again and then I'm going to empty another can of liquid molly in it leave it for 20 minutes again and drain it out and see what it looks like well, it's just been brimmed with some of this lovely Tesco 540 oil I'm going to pour some of this in the sample container just for reference purposes and then bang liquid molly in can number two guys, in it goes. Just started up again. No smoke at all from the exhaust, which is good. I'll leave it for 20 minutes. Well guys, 20 minutes is up. Uh, time to dump the oil again. Oil's coming out now. It's not the best day to do this. It's really windy today. Um, but it looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. The liquid Marley might have finished cleaning now. We'll do a comparison with new oil in a minute. All right, guys, the liquid Marley and uh, oil is out, and I've put another new filter on there. That's the new oil, that's the oil that's just come out. It's not as bad as the last batch that came out, but it did do something, it's cleaned something, so very good. I'm happy with that. So, I'm gonna put fresh oil in it now, start it up. Give it a rev and see how it behaves. All right, new oil time. Castrol GTX 1040. A bit thicker than uh, is required for this car, but as it did burn oil, thicker might be a little bit better. And it's good oil this, so let's bang it in. I'm gonna flush it in about 500 to 1,000 miles anyway, again, and put new stuff in. So let's see how we get on. Let's give it a dip. This is with the new oil now, yeah? These dipsticks, as I say, are really bad, but you should be able to see a slight glisten on the up to F, which means that it's full. This dipstick was really pissing me off. So what I've done is I've cut two slots in it now using a cutting blade, so you can actually see something and that's another mod that's uh, known about as well um, don't go too mad on it you don't want a bit falling off into the sump that's the last thing you want but two little grooves should fill up with oil when you dip it so here we go can you see that nice little glisten of oil in the grooves and now you know you've got oil in there which is uh, fantastic so let's fire up Let's see if the liquid molly's done anything. Alright, she's still puffing. So, next thing then, we've uh, turbocharged the car, as you've probably already seen. Now we are going to supercharge it. <laughs> no, um, on a more serious note, we're going to stick this in. So it's supercharge oil treatment for petrol and diesel engines. 
and it stops noise, wear and oil consumption. So let's bang this in and see what it does. It's supposed to put it in with warm oil, so directions for best results, add at every oil change, bring engine to operating temperature and switch off, add contents to engine oil, run engine to circulate, content treats four to six liters of engine oil. So let's bang it in the hole. This stuff is like treacle. Let's pour it in. Can we reach from here? Hope we can, because don't think it will go through a funnel. <laughs> Right, let's try from this end here. Yep, it's going in. See that? Beautiful, isn't it? Mm, delicious. Let's see what it does. <laughs> All right, the supercharged stuff is in there, and I'm just going to let it warm up for a little while, circulate around the engine, and then uh, I'll give it a few revs and see what happens. All right, so we've used two lots of oil with the liquid molly. We used another gallon of oil just to fill it up now with the supercharge. And the end result is no smoke at idle, but still smoky. Alright guys, we're just going to see if this supercharged stuff actually did anything. I did start it up after I put it in, I cycled it a little bit, it didn't seem to have done anything but I let it cool down and now I'm going to start it up again and see what it does. So, hold tight. <laughs> Okay, cold start looks good, uh, no smoke so far, which is great, but what we're going to do is we're going to rev the car up, hold it at high revs and see what happens, and then we're going to, we're just going to go on and off the throttle and see if it puffs, because that's when it normally does. Okay guys, so as you can hear, the car's ticking away quite nicely. It's pretty quiet now actually, with the exhaust silencer being restuffed. So yeah, as you can hear, it's pretty, pretty quiet, no smoke coming out the exhaust on tick over. So, let's give it a rev now and hold it there and see what happens. So as you probably saw, that obviously didn't work. It's still smoking. On a steady rev, it doesn't seem to smoke as much, but when you rev it and come off and then come back on again, it's smoking quite badly. It's not smoking now, now that it's settled down. A slight bit. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. We didn't get the desired results, really. I should really drive the car around for a few weeks and, and see if it makes any difference because sometimes, you know, those piston rings might be so stuck down that they need a bit of vibration and a bit of high revs or a bit of heat and, and contraction to free up but um, no we're not going to do that I'm going to do something a little bit more extreme in the next video so definitely look out for the next video I'm hoping to release that one in the next couple of days so yeah look out for that it is going to be mad but anyway <laughs> hope you enjoyed this one if you did you know the drill subscribe to my channel like the video and I'll see you in the next one bye for now